October 29th, 7.45. Never sat in here before. That little should have come. Oh my god. See you down. Oh my god. A big old sucker. Where you want me to go? Saturday, October 29th. It's about 7.45. Just slipped up into a new set. I've never sat in here before. This spot is like a hardwood ridge that kind of runs through here. All kind of white oaks dropping like, like rain. It's real beautiful in here. I mean, it's the colors of the leaves are just starting to turn. We'll see what we see. I did, I did bust one doe. One doe ran out of here as I was walking and I was getting in here a little bit late. The neat thing about it is, is I've never even been to this spot before. But JJ just sent me a waypoint on Onyx and I downloaded it to my map and I was able to come straight to it in the dark. So that's the cool thing about having Onyx, being able to share that information with your hunting buddies. I got a little bit of a little east wind, a little pretty steady, it's pretty good. It's not swirling in here too bad. It's blowing right here from, from right to left. We'll see what we see. As he got downwind, he stopped. He was trying to figure out what the heck what I was. But I, I think the nose jammer saved me. I covered the tree and all these limbs with nose jammer. And he knew something wasn't quite right, but he didn't spook. He went over and hit that 
is great. I wish I had some horns with me. I probably messed up by not carrying horns. But it's getting that time of year, October 29th. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Holy smokes. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe what just happened. I don't know how that deer even stayed here long enough. He was... That's a giant. That's a dang giant. It's your first good book in Georgia. 
That was just meant to be right there. There's no other way to say it than that was just meant to be. That first, that first buck came in here and got me all twisted up. And I look back, these two bucks, I don't know if I got the other one, but there was a smaller buck with him. And I look back and they're right here in bow range. And JJ was telling me there's a big 10 in here. I, I guarantee you that's him. And how they, <clears throat> how this deer was sitting here just looking up at me. He was downwind of me, right here, winds right here. But I guess I got enough cover right here. He just, it just barely saved me. He wanted to spook. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh, I've been hunting so hard. I've been hunting so hard. Unbelievable. It's been a couple week hunting hard. Was it an Arctic Shield type morning? It was a little Arctic Shield. It wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't super cold. But I drove the Baku in here. I had about a about a two mile plus Baku ride in here, so I bundled up for that ride. And uh, pretty good gear. I really like this little pullover because. It's not long, like in the waist, but it's, it's roomy enough to where when you go to draw your bow, it's, you don't have anything kind of working against you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Some big rubs over there. They're doing it right now. Scrape. There he is. Holy cow, dude. Holy cow. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, that's a giant. That's a good great piece. <laughs> this is like my second biggest buck ever. He's been rubbing. Dude. What is he, a 10? He's a 10, yeah. I, I don't know that we got this deer on camera. To be honest with you, I don't know if we do. Golly, man. He's got awesome mass. A little bit of trash right here. Just a giant, just a Georgia giant. Yeah, he's old. Georgia giant. October 29th. It seems like the last couple of days that uh, everything's kind of changed a lot. The deer started cruising. It's, it's kind of weird. It's like you stop getting deer on camera, like on your feed sites and your feeders, and it starts to kind of make you worry, but I think that's just because the deer for one, acorns are dropping heavy, and two, they're just cruising. They're just moving around, doing different things, and that's the time you want to be in the woods. And it worked this morning. I had about an eight yard shot. <laughs> I can't thank Bill and Tyler enough. I've, I've put in a pretty good bit of hard work the last couple of weeks hunting. Once we got hay blower down, Tyler's kind of given me free reign of everything, so I've been working with JJ, just trying to scout, look at cameras, and I can't thank Mr. Bill and Tyler enough for giving me the opportunity. I could I could have never dreamed this one up, especially how it happened this morning. We're gonna, I got a good name for this book. What's the name? Brian's last book in the <laughs> <too far. laughs> Hey, I'll take it. Brian's last buck. Brian's first, and, good, first and last Brian's buck. first and only buck. You had a good run. This is definitely going to get me kicked off the farm. Oh, you kicked off. You're I'm done. done. Hope you like that lease. <laughs>
Oh, man. You, you don't you, put it here? You taking this deer to your fall festival? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take him home to ride him around town. Take him through Hamilton a couple of times. Blow the horn. You know, you put him right down. He'll let your tailgate down right yeah. around town. <laughs> yeah. Here. So this is where I park right here. What, what, what are we probably... Three, four hundred yards. Three, four hundred yards. Yeah, you walk further than I'd have walked with a bike. I'd have pulled it right out of the stand and just dropped it right there. Well, that's the good thing about it is you could just drop it in this grass right here and, and deer walk by yeah. it and not even ever know. Yep. All right. I'll see you but I, 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 I drove about, wouldn't you say two miles down here? Yeah, easy. Use one bar battery. Really? Yeah. So you going to pedal go back? I'm going to pedal on the way. I'm going to pedal on the way back to get some exercise.